Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today's video, we're gonna be looking at recycling heroes, also the utilization of heroes that you no longer need. In addition, guys, we're gonna be doing our two pulls for the Awakened version of Sophia. We are getting a lot closer to her. We only need two more copies to actually get her up to that Awakened version, which means that we can put furniture on her. Also, we can use some of our Stargazer cards as well as our diamonds to go ahead and add some stars on her. That way she is completely built. So fingers crossed, guys, there is going to be a point of these videos that we do get that Awakened version of Sophia. And today might not be the day, which it is not. But I also wanted to see if we could get possibly a copy or some cards out of the Magician's Hat. Unfortunately, I haven't seen any cards out of here yet. But there we go. We get none again. I have seen zero. That is right, guys. Zero time emblems out of this game mode as of right now. All right. So let's hop in, guys. Let's go through the Temple of Ascension. Now, ultimately, you can see we did get another copy of Aziz, but when you're looking at heroes in this game mode, when you're looking at the Temple of Time or the Temple of Ascension, there is gonna come a point where you have heroes up to five stars. So looking down here again towards the bottom, almost all of the heroes, I think there is only two at this point that I do not have at five stars. So what you do with heroes, and again, this is a question that I get a lot, guys. So for instance, on this faction, we have Belinda up to five stars already. We can actually scroll down to the bottom. We can verify this. Right there is Belinda. She is max, already at max ascension level, which means that we are going to actually use her for fodder. You could use her for fodder in other heroes that you're building if you do not have them all the way up to ascended at five stars. So what I mean by that is I'm going to take a copy, let's say, of Hogan right here. Now, Remember, you do need double copies. So you need at least two copies of Hogan or two copies of Angelo. So if I went through and I took Muriel and I ascended Muriel, since I do not possess a second copy of Muriel, I am not gonna build her, be able to actually build her any higher. The same is true with Movis. And then of course, with these heroes using food, you're gonna get them to a point where it is not really worth recycling. So what I do here is if I do have multiple and we'll go through all of the factions, I'll recycle the heroes that I have and I will show you exactly the reason. So again, looking at having at least two of these guys, one is always going to be the hero that I have completely maxed out because the additional copies I'm not gonna use for anything. Second one I'm gonna go is Movis and because I already do have two copies of Hogan, that means I'm gonna go to Legendary. I have another copy for Legendary Plus. Now I could do the exact same with Angelo if I wanted to. Now here, I'm a little bit hesitant because I don't wanna use fodder essentially for fodder and fodder. So use an incredible amount of fodder heroes. Um, I, I don't recommend it at all, but of course you could do the exact same with this, getting Angelo up to legendary, getting Angelo up to legendary plus. And that legendary plus, you can see it is not prevalent here. It actually moves it a little bit more towards the bottom down here, but I keep two legendary plus heroes. As again, as you continue and make more progression into AFK arena, um, I save at least two of these at any given time. And the reason is if a new hero is released, you'll get essentially one copy, then use two fodders. You'll get that copy to legendary plus. At that point, it is gonna require two additional legendary heroes to build it up to mythic, mythic plus, and then it goes back to the original copies of a hero. So Lightbearer is all set, guys. I'm going to hop over and I'm going to do the same with all of these right here. We have Scrag, we have Anoki, we do have um, Warwick, as you can see right here in Verk. So again, I'm going to go through and look at what heroes I have two copies of. So right here, I have Akira, I have two copies, Scrag, and my copy of Anoki is going to be used. That, of course, is going to give me a Legendary Plus copy, which we're looking for right now. Now I'm going to do the exact same. And again, this is the reason I'm very hesitant about using fodder in here is if I'm going ahead and ascending or, or using food out of these five star heroes that I already have built, I am still going to have right here four pieces of fodder left. So again, if there is another hero that is released in the future, I actually have the ability to have enough fodder in here to build them up. In addition, guys, you can see we have a lot of fodder down here that we're going to recycle in just a couple minutes. So doing the same here, um, I'm gonna run. So we got one, two, three, one, two, three. So right there, I'm gonna take both of these. And again, I'm gonna save the fodder copies that we have of the other heroes just to build them up. I could combine these four, but essentially that leaves me no one left. I'm gonna wait till I naturally get some additional copies of these heroes um, before I use the food in here. And then of course, Nauru, we can do the exact same. We have Kayleen and we do have Damon all the way built up to five stars which means, boom, we're gonna have one more copy right there, bringing him 
two legendary plus as well. Now, again, the rest of this I'm going to save. I could actually use these two copies, use the other copy of Nauru, but I want to make sure that I'm sitting on just a little bit of fodder so we can go ahead and we can build out some of these heroes. Celestials and Hypogens, you can always, um, once you get these to five stars, guys, if I get additional copies of these, I can actually swap them. And I know a lot of players don't know this just because of the questions I get. But when I get more copies, for instance, right here, Flora is maxed out. I have two more copies of Flora right here. I can actually swap those, which I'll show you just in a minute, um, what you can do with those. And then, of course, here we do also have um, Lucretia and we have Zolrath. We almost have Frampton built out. We almost have Aziz built out, which is awesome. And then, of course, all of these are maxed at five stars through the fusion that we have. All right, so looking at a building that a lot of players really do not focus on at all, it is this rickety cart, guys. So you can see there is no one to replace heroes because I don't have the Awakened copies. But if we look at a regular four faction hero, I do have that copy of Flora, which means I can actually break this copy apart. And there we go. I could swap my two for one Flora. Now this I do not recommend because of course, Celestials and Hypogens can be used for other Celestials and Hypogens. Now this one is a three to one swap, as you can see right here. So I can drop in double copies of Flora and then I can actually swap for another Celestials and Hypogens. Now this makes a game changing difference when you have a lot of these heroes built because if you happen to pull some copies of them, you'll be able to swap for a new Celestial or Hypogen hero that is released, making it incredibly easy to go ahead and build those. Now, of course, the Retire Hero, guys, this is what we wanna look at. Like I said before, we have four Legendary Plus. I'm gonna use two of these, always saving two Legendary Plus heroes, and I'm gonna do that for every faction. So we're gonna save these two. With the Wilder faction, we only have one because remember, we just built out Trishia, which is the reason I am not using any of this food. I am not using any of this fodder. And then, of course, Graveborn, we have three in here. I'm gonna take one giving me five heroes in total at Legendary Plus to retire. I'm gonna retire those because this is what we're looking for, guys. 115K hero coins, that is what I'm looking for. The essence is a good to have, but overall we want this 115K. Okay, there we go. So hopping over to the store, this is how I power level the tree. A lot of players ask exactly how I have my Elder Tree so high. It is right here, guys. It is farming this Twisted Essence. Go ahead and purchase this. Boom, they're all bought out in the bottom. That is, I believe, what, 15, 16, about 1,800. I, I believe, again, roughly just draw, drawn from memory. Um, I believe that's about 1,800 essence. So that is two full levels on the tree, guys. And then, of course, all of these stones are built or bought out as well. When it comes to the actual um, barracks, all of the stones in this very top are bought out as well. Now, if this had a much higher timer, you can actually reset this and then I can buy the entire store out again if I had enough coins. This happens about every three months, roughly every three months, I would say three to four months. Um, I have enough hero coins through this recycling of the heroes, regular summons, things of that nature, that I can buy out all of the essence, I can buy out all of the stones, I can reset this, I can buy out the essence and stone again then naturally let it reset to go ahead and build them out once again, which again it is awesome to see because that allows us again to power level the tree that we have in here, guys. You can see we have two more levels to build out of here. 128 is now my lowest tree, 177 on everything else. And I am literally just going back and forth with support in tank tree, back and forth. And then of course the primary damage dealers, the mages, the warriors, and the rangers, I do have built out and maxed out at 177, which is the big priority, guys. When you get into the elder tree, it is super important because of this multiplication factor that we have down here. So when you're adding percentages, you're adding it to every mage you see here, guys. We have some really, really big high-powered mages. Same with every faction is you have all of these heroes that are super, super strong guys that you do want to build out and that you do want to max out. Now, in addition, I do have one stone. I have seen, I believe at this point, one copy of Aziz. I believe that is all we've ever seen out of these stones. Boom, it is Olgath. Now that is nice. That is awesome, guys. Celestials and Hypogens, I will take all day long. I was hoping it would be a copy of Sophia, but that is okay because again, I will take that copy all day long. I don't think I have another one to build, but Flora, of course, for some reason just goes back. But that is one copy closer to having Olgath at two stars. 
Um, we're going to build them up, and I'm also on the fence, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of Tarnos. I've actually been on the fence for a little bit to build him just because of the PvP aspect, the treasure scramble aspect, and also the utilization within the Celestial Tower. So again, he could have a lot of viability. Now, overall, I've been pushing this Brutal Citadel, and I'm going to continue pushing it with the trial version of the Awakened version of Sophia. So I'm hoping to farm some more cards out of here. So possibly in tomorrow's video, we're going to have the ability to use at least five more cards in there to continue our progression. And then hoping once upon a time that we get something out of the Magician's Hat that we can actually use. So all right, guys, so that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.